Section 3-2, Solving Systems Algebraically. Now there's two ways to solve systems algebraically. The first way is by substitution, and the second way is by elimination. We are first going to look at how to solve a system by substitution. So in example one, our two linear equations are x plus 3y equals 5, and negative 2x minus 4y equals negative 5. Now, you normally are going to choose to solve by substitution, obviously when it tells you to solve by substitution, but also if you get the choice, if you have a variable whose coefficient is 1, that's when you are also going to choose to solve by substitution. So, since this first equation right here is the one that has the variable with the coefficient of 1, we are going to take our first equation and we are going to solve for that variable. So, to move that positive 3y to the other side, all we have to do is subtract it. So we get x equals negative 3y plus 5. It doesn't matter which order you're going to write it in because we're going to solve by substitution. So after you have your first variable solved for, you are then going to take what x equals and you are going to substitute it in for x in your second equation. So all what I did is I took what x equaled, which was negative 3y plus 5, and I substituted in the place of where your x was. So now something for you to notice um, after you substituted, the variables in your equation now should only be one variable, which is good. I both have y, so now we just need to simplify algebraically. So we are going to start by distributing our negative 2. So negative 2 times negative 3 gives me positive 6y. Negative 2 times positive 5 gives me negative 10. And then all that you're going to do is bring down your negative 4y equals negative 5. Now I'm going to combine my like terms. So 6y minus 4y gives me 2y minus 10 equals negative 5. Add 10 to the other side. So that gives me 2y equals 5, and then divide by 2, and I get y equals 5 halves. So remember in section 3-1 when we were graphing these, the point of intersection of your two lines was where um, the solution came from. So now I have to take what y equals, and I have to substitute it in for my variable that I solved for, so that I can find out what x equals. Now. Plugging your y value into this equation is the easiest. However, you could substitute y here or here in your first equation or your second equation, and you should get the exact same answer. So uh, I have x equals negative 3, and then you substitute it, so that's going to give you 5 halves plus 5. I'm just going like, to draw a little line in here so that my work doesn't go together. So negative 3 times 5 halves gives me negative 15 over 2 plus 5. Now I can't add my 5 because it doesn't have a like denominator, so I'm going to multiply it by 2 over 2, which is going to give me negative 15 halves plus 10 halves. Add the numerators together, so that gives you x equals negative 5 over 2. Now that I have both my x and my y value, I write it as my point, negative 5, 2, comma, 5, 2. And that is your solution to this system of equations. Press pause, and I want you to solve this system of equations by substitution. So when solving by substitution, you're looking in each equation for the variable that has a coefficient of 1. So I found my coefficient of 1, so I'm going to solve for that variable. So to move positive 2x to the other side, you're going to subtract it. And then you are going to take what y equals, and you are going to substitute it in for y into the other equation. So that gives me 3x plus 4 times negative 2x plus 10 equals 12. So now, again, a good thing to check, are your variables the, the same? 
They are, they're only my x's, so we're going to start by distributing our four. So four times negative two x gives me negative eight x. Four times 10 gives me 40, and then it equals 12. Combine like terms, so three x minus eight x gives me negative five x plus 40 equals 12. Now to move positive 40 to the other side, we are going to subtract it. And then you divide by negative 5, and you get x equals 28 bis. Okay, now I need to find my y value. So I take what x equals, and I substitute it in for x. Again, you can use the other two equations as well, and you should get the exact same answer. So that gives me y equals negative 2 times 28 fifths plus 10. So two time or negative 2 times 28 gives me negative 56 this plus 10. You have to multiply the 10 by 5 over 5 so you can make sure that you can add your two numbers. So that gives me negative 56 fifths plus 50th fifths. Combine your numbers on the top, so that's going to give me negative 6 fifths for y. So I have my x part of my point, I have my y part of my point, now I just have to write it as a point. So I have 28 fifths, comma, negative 6 fifths. Now we are going to move on to solving by elimination. So I have 3x plus 7y equals 15, and 5x plus 2y equals negative 4. So this might get a little complicated for some of you because there's not really a process that you're going to go through. You're going to look at your x values, and you're going to look at your y values, and you're looking for the variable that can easily eliminate. In this case, I have 3x and 5x. 7y and 2y, so neither of them, one of them is positive or the other one is negative, or maybe they even have the same coefficients already. So in this scenario, you get to decide which variable you want to cancel out. You can choose to make your x's cancel out first, or you can choose to make your y's cancel out first. I normally decide um, which, one, which variables to make cancel out based on which numbers I have to multiply by. So in this case, I like multiplying by 5 and 3 better than I like multiplying by 7 and 2. Again, you could do it the opposite way, and you should still get the same answer. So I am choosing to make my x's eliminate. So I need to make an equivalent system. So to make the x's eliminate, they need to have the same coefficients, and one of them needs to be positive, and the other one needs to be negative. So... The number that 3 and 5 have in common is 15, so I need to multiply 3x by 5 to make it 15, and I need to multiply 5x by 3 to make it 15. Now, again, since both of those are positive already, you choose whichever one you want to, the 5 or the 3 to be negative, so that way when you combine your like terms, one of them cancels out. So now you are distributing your 5 to all three numbers, and you're also distributing your negative 3 to all three numbers. So, 3x times 5x gives me 15x. 3x times 7x, or 7y, I'm sorry, gives me 35y. And then 5 times 15 gives me 75. Now distribute your negative 3. Negative 3 times 5x gives me negative 15x. Negative 3 times 2y gives me negative 6y, and negative 3 times negative 4 gives me positive 12. Now, since my coefficients are the same, I get to add my two equations together to make things cancel out. So positive 15 and negative 15 cancel each other out. 35y minus 6y gives me 29y. And 75 plus 12 gives me 87. Now I divide by 29, and I find out that my y value should be 3. 
Now that I have one of my variables, I get to decide whether I plug it into my first, second, third, or fourth equation. I highly recommend using the first or the second because you haven't changed any of the coefficients at that point in time, but again, it's up to you. So I again look at my values. Do I want to multiply my 3 by 7 or do I want to multiply my 3 by 2? Each way gives you the exact same answer. I like multiplying by 2 better, so I'm going to use my bottom equation. So 5x plus 2 times 3 equals negative 4. 2 times 3 gives me 6. I am going to subtract 6 from both sides, so that's going to give me negative 10. And then I divide by 5, and x equals negative 2. Now that I have the x part and the y part, I write it as a point. My point of intersection is negative 2, positive 3. Press pause and try example 4 on your own. Remember, you're solving by elimination now. Remember, it doesn't matter which variable you choose to eliminate, especially in this scenario because I have positive and positive, positive and positive, and neither of these coefficients are the same. So, do you want to multiply by 7 or do you want to multiply by 5? Do you want to multiply by 2? Do you want to multiply by 3? You get to decide. Again, I like make, multiplying by 2 and 3, so I'm going to make my x's eliminate. Please know that you could have made the y's eliminate and you get the exact same answer. So I have to multiply the top equation by 3, the bottom equation by 2. One of those needs to be negative so that we can cancel it out. I typically normally pick the bottom one to be negative, but either one is fine. So 3 times 2x gives me 6x. 3 times 7y gives me 21y. And 3 times 4 gives me 12. Negative 2 times 3 gives me negative 6x. Negative 2 times 5y gives me negative 10y. And negative 2 times negative 5 gives me positive 10. Now we add them together to eliminate our variable. 21y minus 10y gives me 11y. 12 plus 10 gives me 22. Divide both sides by 11 and you find a y value of 2. Now plug in your y value into your first, second, third, or fourth equation. Remember it's smartest to use your first or your second. So um, do I want to multiply by 7 or do I want to multiply by 5? I like the second one, so I'm going to use the second equation, but you will, will get the exact same answer using the first. So, 5 times 2 gives me 10. And then you subtract 10 to move it to the other side, so 3x equals negative 15. And then you divide both sides by 3, and you get x equals negative 5. Now write it as a point, negative 5, 2. Now let's look at solving systems without unique solutions. So this time, I may not be able to solve for my x value and my y value. So in example 6, we have negative x plus y equals negative 2, and 2x minus 2y equals 0. So something I want you to notice, this is negative, this is positive, this is positive, this is negative. So, and if you notice, both of those have coefficients of 1, both of those have coefficients of 2. So, if I chose to multiply my top equation by positive 2, then those two variables should cancel out. So that's going to give me negative 2x, positive 2y, equals negative 4. And now look, positive 2x and negative 2x cancel each other out. Negative 2y and positive 2y cancel each other out. So on my left-hand side, I'm just left with 0. And 0 plus negative 4 is negative 4. Now, is 0 ever going to equal negative 4? That's actually going to never be true. So since that's going to never be true, there is going to be no solution to this system. This is your last example, so go ahead and press pause and try to find um, the solution to 4x plus y equals 6 and 12x plus 3y equals 18.
All right, first thing I need to do is compare my coefficients, so 4x and 12x, y and 3y. So it looks like if I multiply the top by 3, the coefficients are going to be the same. However, I want them to cancel out, so I need to multiply by negative 3. So that will give me negative 12x minus 3y equals negative 18, and look, everything cancels out, so you're left with 0 equals 0, which is always going to be true. And since that's always going to be true, you are going to have infinite solutions.